Paddington's day off. One day, Paddington went out for a walk. He got out, of his, he got out his basket on wheels and put on his coat and hat. He wanted to see his friend, Mr. Gruber, who owned the shop in Portobello Road Market. Mr. Gruber made them some cocoa. Paddington had some buns to eat. It was a beautiful day. Mr. Gruber said, let's take off. Mr. Gruber closed up shop. Paddington hung a sign on the door. Paddington and Mr. Gruber invited Jonathan and Judy to come along too. They packed a lunch. Paddington brought his suitcase, a map, and his guidebook. He also brought opera glasses. Mr. Gruber pointed out lots of things as they passed by the stores and cafes. Paddington stopped to say hello to everyone they saw along the way. Mr. Gruber led them through a gate into a park. Paddington was amazed. There was so much to see and do. They stopped for lunch by the lake. Paddington dipped his paws into the water while he ate his marmalade sandwich. At the amusement area, they played on the slide and the swings. Then Mr. Gruber said, what's that sound? They all stopped to listen. They heard music playing. They walked farther into the park and found a little bandstand. A band was playing. Mr. Gruber found some empty chairs. They all sat down. Mr. Gruber read the program. They are playing a famous surprise symphony. Paddington loved surprises. He wondered what the surprise would be. Paddington decided to ask the band about the surprise. He walked around the bandstand. There was a door marked private. It opened easily. Inside Paddington looked around. It was dark and dusty and gloomy. The door closed behind him. Paddington pushed the door. It wouldn't open. Paddington found an old broom. He pounded on the ceiling. Mr. Gruber wondered where Paddington had gone. The music was playing. It didn't sound right. Bump, bump, bump. The sound was coming from under the stage. Bump, bump, bump. The conductor jumped. The sound was coming from under his feet. The conductor reached down and opened the door in the stage. Oh, he exclaimed, it's a bear. The conductor helped Paddington climb onto the stage. Would you like to finish the surprise symphony? He asked. Having pet, ha he handed Paddington his baton. Paddington waved the baton in the air and then took his bow. Everyone clapped and cheered. It was a surprise end, a surprising end to a most enjoyable day off. Grandma loves you.